Welcome to Click a Few Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a Solutions Architect here at ClickTech. In this video, we're going to look at geographical maps. In ClickView, there are many options on how to display your data on a geographical map. It breaks down into three main categories. You can do mapping using native ClickView objects. You can do mapping using extension objects. And then you can also do maps using third-party paid add-ons. The most commonly seen mapping solution is using the native ClickView objects. Uh, you can see in the bottom right corner of this app, we have an example of that. What this is, is actually it's just a scatter plot, and then behind the scatter plot, we're intelligently displaying an image of a map using Google Maps in this case. There's a lot of documentation out there on how to do this. Uh, you have to set it up in the script, and once the script's been set up, you can then bring in a, a chart uh, and a scatter plot and do this. I'm not going to go through this one in detail today because of all the documentation available on Community. One drawback of this solution is it does require a fair bit of setup, uh, and, and you're limited to just push pin. Using extensions, there's a whole lot more options. There's actually two extensions that I use very regularly, and I encourage you to, to take a look at. So I'll show you quickly how they work, and uh, actually I'm going to add them right into the browser using the Ajax client. You can also uh, add them directly into a ClickView document, and the way you need to add an extension is you need to change into web mode. If you go, go here to View, and then you go Turn On and Off Web View, that'll put you in, into Web View when you're doing your development if you do want to use extensions that, and put them right into your documents. Everything else will be exactly the same. So I'm going to right click, add a new sheet object, and then I just go to my extension objects, and I have two here. The Click Map extension, now there's actually uh, two Clip Map extensions out there. There's a a paid version done by one of our partners, which has a whole lot more functionality. And then this is a very basic uh, version. For some reason they ended up with the same name, but there are two different click maps. So once I've added the object on here, what I need to do is, is go in and adjust the properties to display the map. So I'll just right click and go into the properties. And then the region dimension is just whichever um, points I'm going, to, I'm going to use. And in this case, I know that there's a geo key. And that geo key lines up to a set of coordinates. So here the coordinates is the latitude and longitude. Uh, the way this extension wants the data is latitude, comma, longitude. And I have that data in here, and I've cleverly named it coordinates. And there it is. The measure that we'll, we'll go with is, is we're going to uh, sum sales amount. Sum sales amount. And you can see right away, the data is already appearing right on the, on the map. Uh, for color expression, uh, you can use simple names of colors. like Just type in red like that. Uh, or you could also use RGB color values. And this is an expression as well. So you can make this intelligent to show different, uh, different colors based on the data, whether uh, what the margins is or something like that. And then the pop-up is, is like a pop-up you can set up as well. And we'll just make it simple with some sales, oh, actually, excuse me, sales amount. And we'll, we'll format that as a number as well. And this is all the standard click view formatting and, uh, and expressions. So there we are there. And you can see very quickly I've been able to develop a map that's quite similar to the uh, the one that's using the native scatter plot, but required a whole lot less setup. The other type of map that people often ask for is a heat map. So having individual countries or individual states or counties shaded in according to, to the values. The extension object I like to use to show heat mapping is the SVG map extension. So it's right here. The reason I like this one is a particular extension. It comes with a whole bunch of maps preloaded, but it actually just uses an image. And you can you can use any image you want uh, and include it in the extension, uh, so and, and then display it. So if you have custom territories, you, you can include that in this extension. Uh, it's very simple. You just drop the SVG file, Scalable Vector Graphics file, into the correct folder location, and uh, then it will be made available to you. So to set this one up, I've dragged it in, and then I just right-click, go to Properties. So the first thing you want to do is decide what map you're going to use. So in this case, we'll, we'll use the world map. For the region ID, what it needs to do is it needs to match up 
with what each element inside the image is named. So for example, uh, the element for the United States is, is named US, and that, that's the code. In all the, the stock maps that come with the extension, it's all using the standard ISO codes, and there's actually a, an Excel file included in there to show you what all those are if you're not sure. So in this data, I have country region code, so we'll put that in. And then for my measure, we can use uh, sales amount again. There it is there. And for the color, the RGB colors. And just to show you an RGB color, is 255-120-120. And then the other uh, things you may want to add in is that uh, here it's only coloring in uh, where there's actually data. And what I would like to do is also put in the element borders. So I'm going to click on element borders here. And that will add in the borders of, of all the elements as well. I'll actually clear the uh, selections, and then we can see the map all um, for the entire globe. And there we go. We now have a fully functional heat map. One other feature I could point out on this uh, particular extension is you can also uh, zoom selected region. What that will do is it will zoom in the map based on your selections. So for example, if I selected Canada United States, you'll see that the, uh, the rendering will zoom right in onto North America. So, so far we've reviewed that using the standard click view objects, a, a scatter plot with an intelligently put image behind it uh, is well documented. I'll put some links to that uh, at the bottom of this video. Two mapping extensions, which are freely available. I uh, find them really powerful, really quick to, and easy to use. Finally, we should look at some of the more advanced mapping features that you can uh, include into ClickView. These are generally paid add-ons uh, that are available on ClickMarket. So on ClickMarket, uh, several of our partners have also developed mapping solutions. These tend to be more advanced than the ones I've shown you today. Uh, for example, here, ClickMaps, it, it integrates with Esri. Uh, there's a CIA graphical map indicator. And this here, this particular click map uh, is, is actually a, a more advanced mapping solution put out by one of our partners. And there's also GeoClick as well as another well-known add-on for ClickView. So that concludes our quick overview of the various mapping options in ClickView. Do take a look at the links that, I, that I've provided uh, with this video, uh, and also go through to the Click community post, which will have more information and questions and so forth, which will be answered. If you have any additional questions, please check out Click Community. It has a wealth of knowledge on not just maps, but all things about ClickView. And don't forget that our partners and consulting services can also help you with your specific ClickView deployment. Thank you. Mm -hmm.